What up, YouTube? Man, you know, I just want to say thank you to all of you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel in the comments. Uh, but first of all, man, I just want to give all honor, glory, and praise to God, the Father. Uh, because without him, none of this would be possible. My platform wouldn't be what it is without him. My life wouldn't be what it is without him. And he's everything to me. So I got to give all honor and glory and praise to him. Uh, and just... And, and, and thankfulness, you know, thankful for where I am in life now and how I can actually help people and how people actually help me. So I'm definitely thankful and <laughs> a praying man. So thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What up, y'all? Knowledge the Raven, man. Y'all know I always come to y'all and give y'all an on-time message. So today, um, the message is... Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. And the reason I say that is I was talking with my nephews and my sons today uh, and just everything that my nephews was telling me, my older nephews, not my young ones, but my sons, you know, uh, they were just getting too comfortable doing the wrong thing. My nephews were too comfortable doing the wrong things, listening to the wrong things, following the wrong things. But when it came to the right things, it was hard for them. It was hard. It's like, man, when I was talking to them and I was bringing correction to them, it was hard for them to say, you know what? Uncle White is right. Or, uh, you know what? I do need to change my life around. But when I talk to them, I talk to them just like, I, you know, I got to get on their level. Because I used to do the same stuff that they doing, and I don't want to see them go down that path, that path that I went down. You know, yes, the Lord delivered me from that path, and now I want to help those to not make the same choices that I did. Because they're not mistakes, understand? Mistakes is a made-up word. It ain't no mistake. It's a choice. You choose to go where you want to go. You choose to do what you want to do. You choose to listen to what you want to listen to. And, and that goes for all of us, even as adults. You know, if you're going to correct somebody, you definitely have to be walking in that correction also. You can't tell them to not do something that you still doing in darkness. Just because nobody else sees you don't mean that the Father is not looking at you. That the one that sits high and looks low does not see what you do. There is nothing new up under the sun, ladies and gentlemen. And, and that's the problem with this world today is everybody is just too comfortable. Everybody too comfortable doing the wrong thing. It, it, it's so easy to do the wrong. It's so easy to steal. It's so easy to kill somebody. It's so easy to deceive somebody. It's so easy to sleep with another man's wife. It's so easy to sleep with another uh, 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 woman's husband. It's so easy to be a side piece. It's so easy to do all these negative things. It's so easy to indulge in smoking weed and drinking and uh, praising to uh, uh, the moon and the stars and and to all these false gods and it's just like that's so easy but it's so hard to do the right thing and that's why we all on lockdown to this day right now why we all on lockdown because God is not pleased with us ladies and gentlemen we have we when I say we mankind we have kicked him out of everything. We have we stopped praying to God. We only pray to God whenever we're going through some mess or whenever we get locked up or whenever we have a bad breakup. We stop praying to God like, God, uh, why you send me this, man? Or why you send me this, uh, woman? God, like, I ain't send you nobody. You made that choice. You know what I have for you would never leave you nor forsake you. But you made a choice to go that way. God is like, you know, it'll be like, God, if you get me out of this, you get me out of jail. I promise I'll never go back to it. I promise I'll never do it again. We just lie. And the kids look at us and they be like, they do the same thing we do. Because we all just too comfortable doing the wrong thing. But when it comes to doing the right thing, that makes people, like, rebel. Like, oh my gosh, like, man, I don't want to do that. Like, I ain't ready for that. It ain't about being ready. It's about taking the initiative right now. It's about 
not putting off to uh, tomorrow what you can do today because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Nobody knows what tomorrow brings. We only know what our mindset is, but we don't know if we're going to wake up in the morning the next day. So we got to get into our baby's lives, man. We got to find out what's going on with these kids, get in their phones, get on the internet, whatever it is, and find out what's going on, what they listening to and who they listening to. Because a lot of these kids got a lot of hidden secrets that's going on. A lot of these kids is out here gang banging, sleeping with people, uh, uh, smoking marijuana. They doing the same stuff that we used to do. It ain't, it ain't no, it ain't nothing new under the sun. I'm not fronting nobody out. I'm just calling it out because even I indulged in those things. And probably you too, if you're watching this video and you're listening, even y'all have indulged in those things. And now we have to bring correction to it. We have to bring discipline to it. Tough love, which as I put on my uh, devotional today, your breakthrough is through your self-discipline. So kick the enemy out of your house, ladies and gentlemen. When I say your house, not just in the physical, but in your body, in your temple. Kick the enemy out. Kick the enemy out of your cell phones. Kick the enemy out of anything that the enemy is in. Kick them out and bring God into it. If it's your kids' phones, if it's your kids listen to it, if it's the music, if it's the television, whatever it is, kick them out. How you do that? Cut them things off. Throw that stuff away. If you're on social media and you got all the stuff that is coming through your social media, however the enemy is getting to you, delete it. Kick it off. It's that easy. But it's hard because your flesh don't want to let it go. It don't want to get rid of it. It wants to keep it. And that's the enemy. It's fighting against you. It's a battlefield. You know what I'm saying? You're on a battlefield. It's good versus evil. And you got to choose which one you want to serve. You got to really like... You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and the enemy. You got to get rid of one and love the other. Or you got to hate one and uh, and love the other. Which way, whatever way you want to go. You, know, you got to love God and hate the enemy. Or you got to love the enemy and hate God. Ain't no in between that. So, man, I just want to tell y'all, like, we literally have to do this together. Let's help each other out. And I got a message for y'all from Deuteronomy 29, chapter 29, the whole chapter. If you want to know about that, please reach out and I will definitely pour that into you and we can discuss this. I love y'all. Blessings to y'all. Knowledge.